Yo, what is going on, everybody? My name is Connor, but you guys call me Superior, and today I'm coming at you guys with episode 4 of How to Spawn Trap, and on this time we're going to be going over the map Octane, which is um, pretty much a medium-sized map for this game, and, um, you know, I do enjoy this map. I don't really enjoy too many of the medium-sized maps, or even the large maps for that matter, but, um... You know, I do enjoy this one just because I can spawn trap so effectively on it. Now, you notice that the red area that you see on your screen right now on the bottom left is bigger than most spawn traps uh, just because I can't really pinpoint it down to one spot. But if you are able to use some of the tips that I'm going to give you guys in this video, you should not have a hard time spawn trapping. So, like I mentioned, let's start off when you're spawning Federation attacking the ghost. Now, the majority of this side, when you're going for a chem strike, you're going to want to stay in the red zone, and the red zone is diner, pawn shop, and, like, the right corner of gas. Now, reason for that is you see that the spawn, they will spawn right outside a pawn and right outside of gas, and, um, you know, you definitely want to be able to kind of sit in diner and look across and be able to see them run into pawn. Um, it's definitely easy kills, but after you kill them a few times, they're going to spawn back by their portal. So what you want to do to prevent them from spawning on their portal is you want to push some teammates up there you know you want to get teammates in that spot so that cancels out that spawn so they won't be able to spawn there and you know that's kind of what teammates are for to kind of help you guys work together be able to get chem strikes and win the game so um, just kind of position yourself in dine or be able to pick them off running across the pond or running into gas and you know eventually they will stop spawning there and they'll stop running to you so then what I like to do and you'll see me do this in the gameplay is I will push up into gas and uh, normally there'll be one or two in there and then I'll just basically run a circle and go back to dine or do that same thing all over again so um, hopefully um, you guys get the feel for this because it's definitely not just watch the video and go and do it perfectly You have to get a feel for it You have to understand what's going on and another thing is watch the gameplay and watch what I'm doing kind of learn from it um, Because it essentially is the same as playing you know you learn you can watch what I do You can kind of take mental notes on it um, to help you guys run the spawn trap better So that is about it for that side Let's jump on to the next one So this one is when you are on the ghost and you're attacking the Federation now this red area is much smaller And um, it's definitely an easier spawn trap to do than the the other side so you're basically gonna want to position yourself in strip and now you'll see that there are two main spawn points there's behind strip and then there's by their original spawn where the baseball diamond is right next to the portal now in order for them to kind of cancel out that spawn where the portal is you're gonna want to have some teammates push up into motel and um, even if if they're still spawning there you're gonna want to set some teammates up um, you know right by their portal so they won't spawn there and then they'll pretty much a hundred percent of the time spawn right behind you at strip so if you position yourself in like top strip or bottom strip you, you'll be able to see them just kind of book it across the middle of the map going towards the garage and you know that's an easier kill more often than not and you will also see that in this gameplay um, you know, definitely, I cannot say this enough, if you guys are having trouble watching these spawn traps, or even before you do them, just watch the video, you know, take some mental notes, and it'll definitely help you run the spawn trap. Now, another thing that I can recommend to help you run these better is, and since it's not really a visual spawn trap, where you're just kind of sitting there watching them spawn, you can get easy kills, I would definitely recommend putting on um, dead silence. You can hear footsteps better, uh, so then your your own footsteps aren't like, you know, making more noise than the enemy's footsteps. And I'd also, I'd always recommend getting a decent headset. It doesn't even have to be a $250 Astro A40s. You know, it can be a $40 Turtle Beach headset, because a headset's better than no headset. And, um, you know, hearing enemy's footsteps is such a big part of the game, and can give you such a big advantage on them, that it's hard to play the game with that one but that is about it for this video guys i truly did hope you guys enjoy hope you guys learned something and can go apply it to your call of duty gameplay and uh, maybe get a chem strike or two so that is about it for this video guys i truly do hope you guys enjoyed click the like button if you guys enjoyed let's go for 100 likes that'd mean the world to me also if you guys are new please subscribe i really want to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year and i definitely think i can do it hope you guys all have a fantastic day i am out come and get it